What's going on guys, my name is Dimitri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna break down how to make recurring tasks in ClickUp. Now, before we get into the topic of this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Recurring tasks are something that can be really helpful in order to make your life easier. If you have tasks that come up every single week, it's better that a productivity app were to put that together for you rather than you having to make it every week with someone like me who uses Notion. I've noticed over time that, uh, you know, I mean, the, it's not the greatest thing that it doesn't have like built in recurring tasks. I made a video on how to create recurring tasks in Notion if you wanna go check that out. However, apps like ClickUp, they have them built in. And I think it'd be good if we drop into ClickUp to show you guys exactly how to do that. All right, so let's dive into how to make recurring tasks in ClickUp. I think a great way to showcase this is a calendar view. And if we go here, we have multiple different options to showcase how to do this. So we have a recurring task here. There are different ways to make this happen. So this recurring tasks, this recurring task is one that will recur when done. There's the option to recur when closed and there's an option to recur on a schedule. So first and foremost, if we go to when closed this option is interesting so it's not necessarily done it's just when it's moved to the last status so it doesn't have to be inherently complete so if we go and use this one and we click next status and then we click it again then we click it again Again, until we get to the last spot, I clicked all the way through and then it moved it. It recurred it to the next week. Now, if we make another one, let's make another example task and we make this recur. Set recurring. It can recur to any day, any month, any year. It can customize to multiple different days of the week, but let's change it to when done. All right, so let's say every Thursday when it's done. And if we just did this, it would move to the next week, it would recur. And then lastly, this is something that's gonna be a little bit harder to show, but example task time, go into this one, we set recurring task here, we set recurring to every daily, And then I don't want to recur it forever, but let's recur until tomorrow. That's probably fine. Eh, Saturday, Sunday, that'd be fine. We want to recur it daily and then change it so that it's on schedule. So this makes it so that recur on schedule, regardless of whether the task is done, it would then recur in a specific time frame so let's try to make it start date it's today at a time 6 15 let's make the due date at 6 30 and by the end of me recording this it should have recurred so i do want to showcase something else in regarding the different options here so when recurring, you can choose what exactly to keep, right? You can choose what options exist and what parts of it that you keep. So a really nice thing that you can do actually with recurring tasks and click up is, let me clear this out real quick. If you wanted to recur every Monday at 9 a.m. and type it in and press enter, it'll do it. Like that's pretty awesome. You can type what you want and it'll do it. And then another great tip, is if you go into the calendar view here and go to settings, you can show future recurring tasks. And in the pro version, you can see it. So bada boom, you, you'd be able to you'd be able to see everything. So not a kind of a buzzkill that I don't have the pro version, but that's an option. So a way that you can prevent yourself from basically changing the due date as an occurrence and rather than that actually having the thing create a new task is if you go into the recur options, you press create new task and then go to options here and you can choose what to decide to pick. So that could be including everything, activity, 
um, subtask assignees, remap subdata. So you can pick what you want. So if we do everything pretty much here, and then this is set already to this recurs when done. So let's just finish this out. So if this had been the previous option, so let's go back to the other way, get rid of create new task, do done. This is actually just changing the due date. So if you want to create new tasks, obviously more than okay for you to just check the option to create new task, click options. And then that way you can f pick and choose if you want subtasks to be redone or or if you keep all the attachments and that sort of stuff. So it's up to you in that way. And I kind of like having that flexibility there. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the support recently. This whole shift in uh, making videos has been fun. I really like these productivity apps and I hope that I'm bringing you guys the value that you want and need in this year. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.